This is an example of a screencast. It falls to the more static end of our continuum and um, can be a very passive, um, a very, very passive interaction. Um, but if you paired it with the application that the students are learning how to use by watching these screencasts, it is no longer very passive. So um, we're, gonna, we're putting it in the passive area because generally screencasts are pr pretty passive unless you actually integrate some um, questions or clicks, click zones and those kinds of things to teach somebody how to do something. These don't have any of that. Um, however, um, they are um, very beneficial for the students because um, when you're training on a software package, it helps to actually see the software package. Um, and so what they did for this is they broke um, the instructions up into several different steps and created a video for each one of the steps, which um, is very nice for the students because the student can focus on one step at a time. Um, they can leave, they can come back, they don't have to worry about whether their place was kept for them. And so um, it just works out very nice um, for the students. Everything is labeled. Um, and if they are using the uh, software at the same time, they can watch the video and do whatever it is that they need to be doing. Um, and so that kind of takes the level of interactivity up a notch.